What in the actual fuck was that, Edmonton? Are we really going to fucking play like this every fucking time we face a team that is at the bottom of the standings? We did it against LA. We did it against the Detroit Red Wings. And now against the Ottawa Senators? Are you joking me? This is honestly the most embarrassing game I've ever watched in my life. Like, come on. Welcome everyone back to another OGR says game 30 as the Edmonton Oilers fell to the Ottawa Senators in a very embarrassing game as we lost 5-2. It was just, oh my god, where do we even start? We start off with a great first period of course and the Edmonton Oilers were playing some of the best hockey and we were dominating. We were like fucking 20 shot attempts to like a couple for Ottawa. It was 10 to 1 for shots. We were pushing the tempo. We were we were dominating. We were the team that was forcing it. And then all the fucking sudden, we shit the fucking bed in the second period. I mean, Jujar. What a great goal to start off the game. Perfect pass by Sam Gagne over to Leon Dreisel and all over to Jujar. It was a perfect way to start the game. And then fucking Asisimov, Connor Brown, Tyler Ennis, and the third period, Duclair, Nemestankinov. What the fuck was that, Edmonton? Like, are you joking me? Mika Koskinen was having a really bad night last night. Really fucking bad. Not just that, Ethan Bear was struggling, Darnell Nurse, Adam Larson, and Oscar Kloppbaum. They were a minus four. I mean, just everybody was fucking playing like shit. I think the only line that I really seen out there was the Granlin Haas line. Even then, they were doing shit. McDavid, he was a fucking lethal fucking motherfucker. But he, in, in the end, we still didn't win the game. He didn't have register a point, and we just played like garbage. I cannot believe how bad we played and how bad we need Nuge and Cassian back in the lineup. Without those two guys, we are missing a lot of the key players part of our lineup. Those two guys are big keys, and of course we need it back in lineup because we're going to play like this definitely again. We're facing LA Kings here on fucking Sunday or uh, Friday, which the alternate jerseys we're going to be wearing. We better win that damn game because literally we cannot be playing down to our opposition. This was a game that we should have won. Without a doubt, we should have beat the Ottawa Senators because right now, Arizona Coyotes, they're only a point back of the Edmonton Oilers right now. We played the exact same amount of games. Uh, this is not the way we should have been playing. We had a really bad PK. We had seven power play chances and we only scored on one. That is how bad we played last night. And this is against a team that is like 30th in the NHL for their PK. We should be lighting them up on their power play. Like this should not be a fucking worry for the Edmonton Oilers. Connor McDavid didn't register a point. We weren't able to score anything against this Ottawa Senators team. They played a way better game than what we did. And, and that shows with all their goal scores. They had five fucking goals. This should not be a game that we should be playing against the Ottawa Senators. We had so many players play like garbage and so many just negatives about this game. It was embarrassing just to watch. It was ugly and uh, I don't know. There's no words to really describe this game. Ottawa did a great job playing the way that they played. They pushed. They pushed hard during the second and third period. They came back hard. They knew that we were going to fucking push the tempo early. And we did. The first period was a great period by the Edmonton Oilers. It was fantastic. We played. We got a great goal by Jujar. It was a great start to a game. It was. I thought it was going to be a, a fucking cakewalk. I thought, honestly, we were going to play a great game. And in the CSC Simov score, I was like, okay, that's okay. It's just a tight game. But then Brown and then fucking Ennis to add things on. It was just embarrassing. Even then, like that fucking uh, Simov and Brown, they were scored within a fucking minute. Like within 15 seconds, another goal was scored. Like that is not the way that we should be playing. This was a horribly defensive game. It was not the way we should have been playing. We should have played a way better game. And on fucking Friday, we need to play a way better game. We need to have good goaltending because Miku Koskin has struggled. He had a bad night. Miku Ko or Mike Smith went in. He did pretty well, but he still struggled. We need to have a good bounce back game on Friday. We need to see Cassie and Nuge was out on the ice today. So hopefully we can get to see Nuge back in the lineup against the LA Kings. I would love to see him. But man, we got to get a victory.
We got to get a victory. We got to start playing good hockey because the last couple games, we have not been playing that good hockey. We have struggled on the special teams, especially lately. We had one good game against the Vancouver Canucks on Friday, even or on Saturday, I mean, or Sunday, I mean. Even then, we weren't playing the best hockey. We really need Nuge back in the lineup. Nuge is a huge piece of the team, and I hate those fucking people that let's trade away Nuge to pick up somebody. No, Nuge is a huge piece of the Edmonton Oilers, and we can see it by this injury that we've been missing Nuge a lot lately. So we need him back in the lineup on Friday. Hopefully, he's ready to go as he's back on the ice. Hopefully, Zach Cassian's all ready to go as well, as we need to step up our tempo against the LA Kings. I'm pretty sure the simulation said the LA Kings are going to win. I'm not too sure. I'll have to double check. Uh, but you guys are going to see the highlights anyways here pretty soon. The EA Sports have lost another game as they are right now, uh, I think they're 20 and 10 right now is their record. Uh, so they keep getting worse and their record just, uh, yeah, it keeps going on getting worse. So the Edmonton Oilers, we need to have another a big victory on Friday. We need to have a bounce back game. And we actually need to dominate the tempo. This is a team that should be an easy victory against the LA Kings. So please, Edmonton Oilers, play some good fucking hockey on Friday. Anyways, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Adios, amigos. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Oil Country, Edmonton, Alberta. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. Well, they used to call this place the City of Champions, and they're hoping to get back to that once again, Ray. Yeah, it's been a couple decade climb back from those unbelievable years of Wayne Gretzky and company. Setters glide into position for the opening draw. Opportunity for them to kick the other team in the shins. He scores! Well, they've been hoping that the extra work they've done on the power play would help them capitalize. They do a nice job there. He got himself in a good position to receive that pass, and then he one-times it past the goaltender. Less than a minute to go here in the second. Sends the pass over. With the blast. Blocked in traffic. Moves it quickly over to Granlin. Let's it fly. He scores! Uh, now they can go into this intermission, James. They gotta feel great about themselves. They tallied so late in this period. This is a case of one team just working harder than the other. Once the puck is turned over, they stay on it. They're on it like a pack. And eventually they get the puck to the scoring zone. And the entry will give them some time in the offensive zone. Here's a shot. Scores! And the deadlock is broken. Well, what a crushing goal to give up. But the other guys worked hard for it. They pressed the play and now they've got the lead. He doesn't miss too many, James. He leads his team in goals for a reason. And that brings an end to this one here this evening. It's like the old song goes, all they do is win, win, win. Man, it's fun when you play like this. Your team goes into a game you almost know you're gonna win, and they've put together a long winning streak. For my broadcast partner, Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski. Thanks so much for joining us. Good night.